Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 8 of the kitchen and cabinet design. Uh, this video is going to be completely about making the stove, okay, and moving that back into where we have one of those cabinets, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here to my, I'm going to reset my view back to the top and bottom right corner. I'm going to right click on my cube and go back to parallel and we're going to be making this stove okay so what I did was I copied out um, I copied out the the basic piece of the cabinet that was there okay I deleted the doors in there I deleted the handles and I copied this part out okay then I created the door then I created the handle then the knobs and then the top part and then these okay so now these can go anywhere I didn't really love how they came out uh, there could be more burners this is gonna be a 36 inch uh, stove which is a little bit bigger than a normal size stove usually they're 30 but that's just where I wanted it in the kitchen and we had already put in uh, you know a 36 inch um, uh, sorry cabinet in that place okay so alright here we go so I'm gonna copy this and actually you know what I'm gonna grab it from over here because I had already subtracted things out of there um, I think this is oh, so that's got that in it. Let's see if we can steal that from somewhere else. Nah, we definitely can't. Okay, it's not a big deal. Um, as you can see, I had already subtracted a hole for where these go, so we'll still talk about that and how to do it. Or actually, I'll, I'll plug it back in and then we can do it all together. All right, so you're gonna copy that out, right? And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put a box on the front of this that goes out about I think I went out about three inches okay and then you're gonna do a chamfer edge distance three and three sorry two and two 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 and that's gonna be on this edge enter twice okay the next thing I did was I took lines and I went across the middle here and I went across the middle here and if you want you can take these lines let's see if we can get this other one selected alright let's go back to 2d wireframe if you want you can take these lines and move them out let's say five feet and over here we can do our offsets for let's see we got 36 so if we want to leave four inches on the two sides we would do 28 divided by 2 is 14 so offset 14 that's gonna be your left and your right um, I want to leave about eight inches at the top and probably about four inches at the bottom so if our height is this let's go ahead and put a line here and here and we're gonna offset eight down. Now that's not gonna work until we're in the right view. So let's go back to the right and orbit. Okay, uh, offset eight. That's gonna come down, should come down. How about this, let's copy it. My computer's been really funny recently. You know, when you're in that view, you should be able to copy up and down, um, or I should say offset up and down. So we're gonna go eight down, okay? And then, uh, let's see, we're gonna go four up from the bottom. Let's see if the offset works. Nope, it's going forward backward. Um, so we'll do copy again. It's all about problem solving, four. All right, so now what do we actually need? We need, so those are our sidelines. We don't need that. We don't need the middle line anymore. We don't need the top, we don't need the bottom. And then we're gonna trim off these bottom pieces let's go to the right view again and reset all right so if that's not working let's just go right into our fillets fillet radius let's do three why is that not working all right if that's not working then let's go to a rectangle and let's draw back over I went out five feet before, so we'll go out another five feet. Let's see if our fillets work on that one. And that 
looks a little big. Let's do fillet radius two. Get rid of this. Move this back in. Let's actually copy this one. We're gonna need a copy of it. That goes back in 10 feet. Okay. Now this is gonna get extruded negative one. And then you're gonna subtract that from the door. That's gonna give you, forget about this top stuff. Here, let's fill that in real quick. Let's do length. You don't need to do this part. Let's go. Let's go one down and then to about there. And then I'm going to union that back. There we go. Okay, so anyways, I took this and I extruded it back negative one and then I subtracted it away. So now there's a hole there. Then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to extrude it back negative one half. I do want a recessed little window there, um, but I want a, a piece of glass there that I'm going to put like a tinted color on. That way you can actually see the difference between the stainless steel stove and a little tinted glass. Okay, so back on 2D wireframe, what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll grab it from the back here and I'll put that at the back of this one so you can see I'll show you on the other one that you get a little recessed second piece there okay all right so now with the handle um, what I did with the handle was I drew a line okay I move that line or offset it's up to you it's not going to work on conceptual, so let's go back to 2D wireframe. Took that line, I moved it down. I think it was four inches. Okay. And then um, I took another line at the midpoint. And this doesn't matter how long this is because we're going to be using offset anyways. Hopefully, offset works this time. Um, I went and I did, if I'm thinking like a 24 inch handle from left to right, I'm thinking it's going to be 12, 12 left. 12 right, get rid of the line, draw a polyline from there to there, get rid of these three lines now, and then put a circle right here and make that 0.75 radius. Okay, so now we're going to take this and we're going to copy this out. And we'll go out 10 feet. Okay. We'll go to the top view. Because this, uh, similar to the dishwasher one that we did. But that one was challenging when we did it. So this is an easier way to do that. We've got the circle there. We've got the line here. Um, what we'll do is we'll do offset. And we'll offset 3. Offset's still not working. So let's do copy again. Copy three, and let's see if we can go convert to arc and get it to sit on. Yeah, see, it keeps flipping up like that, which is driving me crazy. So let's go back to the top and see if we can do it in this flat view. The only problem is that this midpoint, oh, there we go, convert to arc. It's still giving it to you. But notice how I can't draw that way. So that's, um, that's interesting. So let's go to UCS and make sure that we are on world. And then let's try that again. Convert to arc. Yeah, it won't go that way. Man. Let's see here. What else can we do? Um, it's funny because this just worked. I was just doing it about 10 minutes ago. Uh, let me think here. Let's redraw that line. Well, here. Let's leave the line there first. Let's redraw that polyline. I'll move these back five feet. This line's no good. Let's go to the top. Whoops. Let's make sure that we're on parallel. Yeah. Convert to arc. There we go. 
I don't know why sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's very strange. But anyways, now we got our handle, okay? Because we're going to do a sweep of the circle. Enter on the line. And now this is going to move back about five feet. Okay, so we got that part now, right? Conceptual, okay? Uh, let's do the knobs. Okay, the knobs, um, I put five because at home my, my middle one does like a drawer underneath. Um, but I didn't draw the draw the drawer because you can't see it anyways from that view. Um, I'll show you what I mean. If I go to my camera view here, the countertops are in the way of seeing the bottom anyways. So it's not even worth drawing it down there. Okay, As, unless your camera view is going to be different. Then it would just be another box below it. Um, that's pretty much it. All right, so this is an interesting part because this is something that we haven't done before. So you're going to put a line on that angle on the chamfer there, on the chamfer edge. And we can't draw a circle at that point because it's going to be drawing it either flat or to the right or on the front. Okay, so what we got to do is we got to type UCS and we have to reestablish what the X, Y, and Z are. So if you start at this point and then you click this point and then you click this point, the grid changes. Hopefully you can see that in the video. The grid changes to be on that plane. Okay, so now when I draw a circle on that plane, it will actually be on that plane. And I think I did like a one radius circle. I think I took it and I copied it maybe five inches and then 10 inches. And then going this way, I think I did five and 10. You want to get rid of this line and then you want to extrude these. Now they're not, there's nothing special with these knobs. They just are cylinders. Okay. I think I did one. Okay. So let's see what that looks like. Oop, I went the wrong way. If I'm going this way, yeah, see it's going the wrong way when I do one. So if it's doing that for you, just take these knobs and move them that way now this is going to get confusing with which way we're moving it here it's probably going to be this way one there it is all right so now they're sticking out okay um all right the next thing i did was i reset my view because you don't want to be on that on that angled view that we were on i drew a box in the back i did length I went to here. I went out this way. I think uh, I think three, and then I went up about four. But I actually like it to be a little taller, so I'm gonna go six on this one. And then chamfer edge, distance one and one. I think I did, and you get something like that. Okay. And then the last part here would just be doing this stuff on the top. So this is the challenging part. Um, what I did was I took a line down the middle from there to there and I moved that line out. Okay, let's go another 10 feet. All right, now let's go to the top. Uh, to the top, sorry. Okay, so this is the front to back space that we can have. Now, if I draw like this and I go 18 and 18, this is basically the the top surface how big it is okay so now if i draw circles um let's say i draw a five radius circle and i offset that by one i can move this probably somewhere over here like eight inches and then i'm probably going to move this one oh, copy sorry copy this one down 16 inches that way it's the same on the other side I'll move this one off the center by about five and I'll move this one off the center by about five right and then we'll do the smaller burners so you've got one like this that could be three uh, offset that by one I'm going one in by the way and then you can move that one and if you want to keep them even like like I did you know like a regular stove would be then you can do that as well um, I think I went eight and copy 16 and then move this 
somewhere like there and somewhere like there okay so we got these you could even put another one in the middle if you want let's do this one maybe somewhere in the middle like four offset one I don't know if I like four I think three would be better so you have three of the same size small ones and then you have two larger ones okay so get rid of the lines all right now we're gonna go back to a 3d view so you can orbit um, what you need to do here is you need to extrude these all negative one make sure they go down okay then you need to see how they're all solid right now I need them to be rings okay in order to make them rings we do subtract we click all the big ones hit enter and then grab all the small ones one two three four five enter now it looks the same on 2d wireframe but in conceptual you see that they look like rings okay then <clears throat> excuse me then what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy and you're gonna make that copy go in about 10 feet so that's gonna put it back where it was now you're gonna do a subtract from the actual main part of the stove enter and then the rings enter and that's what leaves the actual hole there and then these this copy here will move 10 feet and just kind of plug in those holes so at that point all I did was add my materials and I just made darker colors for where the rings are okay and that's pretty much it that's what the stove is so here I'll show you how to move it in let's get rid of these oh you'll also have to slice your countertop okay so um, if you already moved this cabinet out then what you'll do is you'll go to the top view in 2d wireframe and you'll select the countertop well hang on let's do slice first and then you select the countertop and then you go off of this one like one two and then hit enter and it'll slice that off on that side then you do it again you click this hit enter slice it from here to here and then erase that countertop so that way we got a floating circle here that way you have that piece that's cut out and avoid that we can move in our stove okay so now I'll move in uh, I'll move in this one and what you want to do is you probably want to do this on 2d wireframe you want to grab the whole stove don't miss any pieces move it from the back right corner orbit back and put that at this is going to get confusing in here but put that at that corner back there and then let's check out what that looks like go to view double click camera hit apply hit OK and we got our stove now I like my other stove better because I had all my stuff on there <laughs> so I'm gonna back up here looks like there was a circle back here somewhere yeah oh well um, so let me go to my view and that's it stoves done okay so we got two more videos after this I think we're gonna do um, I think we're gonna do the refrigerator which is gonna go on the right side over here and then I think we're gonna do lighting and then I think that's it so this is part eight it's probably gonna be ten parts altogether and we're getting there it's looking pretty good all right so this looks like a kitchen to me okay um, any questions out there I don't see any hands so I think we're good all right thank you guys for watching I appreciate it and I will see you in part nine thanks a lot Get your